I notice this, that we do have the gift to give to another person of acknowledging their place, acknowledging who they are, not simply as a personality, not simply as they fit into a social structure. We have the opportunity to see them for who they are, see another person for who they are, and to acknowledge simply their place in being. We have the opportunity to acknowledge their unique selfhood, who they uniquely are, that unique flame and light, and that unique place they hold in the cosmic scheme of things. When we easily give that to another, and generally to other people, we find that we become aware that we have our place, our places given to us as a human being. The corollary is also true. If you attempt to steal the rightful place of another human being, you end up stealing your own place. You end up keeping from yourself an awareness of your place that's given to you. I don't think it's possible to take it from another, deny it of another in your own consciousness. Of course, you can't really take it, but to not deny it in your own consciousness without buying into a failed social structure that has turned its back on the reality of being. And of course, human social structure does that often. It's rare to find a family, a community, a nation that openly acknowledges as a collective the reality of the divine. There can be some passing acknowledgement of it, sometimes begrudgingly given our American salute of the flag contains the phrase under God. But I don't know how far that really goes for people, particularly these days. So it's rare to find an open acknowledgement of the divine in the transcendent reality of it, never, never mind in each other, in the social structure in which we live. Our social structure is a lot about elevating personality to a place of worship and denying the fire and light of the divine that's present in all people. 